Okay, um, in this video, I'm going to talk about concurrent number lines and uh, using relation rules or shifters or operators to um, or skewers to deal with two number lines and changing the relationship between them. So if you have um, number line red, I'm not going to put numbers on them. You can just imagine numbers on them, number line green, okay? There's our two number lines, okay? So one of the shifters you could do is you could, we'll put zero on, on both of them. So one shifter would move the number lines relationships up and down in relation to each other. Um, so that's one. Another one is what I call random access. So if you, first of all, there's, um, so if you have your number line, like, and the number line below it, you can kind of describe these as functions as well. The one-to-one the -one relationships you can describe as functions. But, um, and then, And then, so that could be another, so that's random access. So you can have any number connected to any number on the other functional number line. And there's the, um, what I call the non, the non-connected numbers or the Brady numbers. So the Brady numbers look a bit like that. So those don't have connections to the other number lines and you can skew, you can, um, make them sort of blurry so they could kind of have half connections and quarter connections and things like that. Um, there's branching connections and there's branch back connections. So you have your concurrent number line and at one point is branching to say 10 other points. And then you have it, one of those points then branching back to and other points so branching so that one green one connects to three different points on the number line it might be able to connect to a half point or an uncertain point or things like that the red side then is branching back to the blue side to the green side like that and what you can do is you can have um uh what's it called operator row branching so you have the two like that right Red, red, red. So the red has been branched to three points, right? But the relation yule keeps going. So one of them then becomes branches to another three points on the other line. Now those three points are branched to two points. So they not only do they have the property of being a point, they also have the property of, of being branched to. So you can have a point there and just treat it as a point, but you could also have a point on the exact same place that's been branched to by the green branching or by the red branching, or it could be double branched to. So it's, it was branched by the green and branched by the red. So you could say, say that was the number six and that was branched to by five and branched to by on the green line and branched to by four on the blue line. You can have the six point on its own, or you can have the six point version where it's branched to point. So you can then keep on branching and branching through the number line, endlessly branching back and forth an infinite amount of times or an endless amount of times or forever amount of times. So they're sort of concurrent line operators or concurrent line re relation yules that you can use to build up um, uh, mathematical maps of um, ideas. So... That's the basic line, line on concurrent number lines. So um, the next video we're going to look at is, um, let me get some more paper. Next video we're going to look at is zero numbers. Um, zero numbers are, or not zero numbers, sorry, alternative number lines. So um, currently we're using the, the standard natural number lines and the imaginary off axis and imaginary concurrent number lines. So in the next video, I'll talk about um, different types of number lines.